Hey guys, Dan here from CLE Tech, and this is episode 5 of What's on Your Android. Now, if you need more clarification on what this series is about, want to know how to enter, or wish to watch previous episodes, then check out the description below for all of the necessary links. Also, stay tuned until the very end of this episode for more information on the upcoming changes to What's on Your Android. So first up, we have Liam and his Samsung Galaxy Note 4 setup. Liam is using Nova Launcher Prime and has a few different home screens, all based off the apps that he uses the most. His main home screen has his most used apps like YouTube, Gallery, and Shuttle Plus. Now if you're curious about those icons in the dock, well, those were actually designed by Liam himself and unfortunately not available in any icon packs. He said he modeled them after the Nextbit Robin stock icons, and maybe if you ask him nicely, he will help you get those same icons on your phone. I'll leave a link to his Instagram in the description below just in case you want to contact him. His other home screens just contain some additional apps that Liam likes to use and added a Samsung clock and step counter widget. Also, his wallpapers come from the Papers app, and he likes to use Muse to constantly refresh his wallpapers. Next up, we have John and his LG G2 setup. So John likes to run with only one home screen page, but store his additional apps that he frequents in multiple docks at the bottom. The docks seem to be themed by social apps, settings and utilities, and some Google apps. I assume that the ones that remain on his home screens are all the ones that he opens all of the time. You might have also noticed by now that John does not have an app drawer, but instead utilizes gestures to get his app drawer as well as other functions. He kindly included a page of his gestures for all of you to copy or gain inspiration for your setup. Also, if you haven't noticed, his launcher is, of course, Nova Launcher Prime. Next up is Adrian and his HTC One M8 setup. So the first thing you're going to notice with Adrian's setup is his wallpaper, and this comes from the app called Plastexo. The clock widget is, of course, the HTC Sense stock clock widget, and underneath that are a few of his most used apps. The most interesting thing out of this so far are his icons, and those come from the Cretan icon pack. Swipe over to the right, and we have another page with some folders containing more apps all in their respective categories. The circular clock widget also comes from his icon pack Cretan. One more page to the right, and you'll find the month calendar widget agenda portion in conjunction with Google Calendar right underneath so that he can get that whole month view. Finally, his last page consists of the Google Now widget for some information at a quick glance. If you have any more questions for Adrian, you can find his Twitter handle in the description below. Next up, we have Ethan and his Moto G 2014 edition. Ethan's setup is pretty simple. He's using the Google Now Launcher and essentially loaded his main screen with all of the apps that he favorites like Twitter, YouTube, YouTube Studio, Periscope, Skype, etc. Those apps will spill over to the next page with the AccuWeather widget included as well. The wallpaper is one of those stock Moto G wallpapers, and since this is the Google Now launcher, if you swipe to the left, you will of course get to Google Now. Pretty simple setup, and if you're interested in Ethan's gaming channel, you can of course find the link in the description below. Last, but certainly not least, we have Alejandro and his Nexus 6P setup. Right away, the first thing that my eyes are drawn towards is that sweet Google clock widget in the top center of his main page. That is from the Zuper collection made with Zuper Widget Pro. I really love it, and I might have to put it on my phone for myself. I also think that it works super well with his darker wallpaper, which he says found on Reddit, but I'm pretty sure I've seen this wallpaper in the Backdrops app before. Don't quote me on that, though. Alejandro is also using the perfect icon pack for this color scheme, and that's the Silhouette icon pack. Aside from that widget, he also has a neat little square of his most used apps and no app dock below. Swipe to the right, you have a Gmail widget and Google Calendar widgets, followed by another page of his apps, but this time it's arranged in a pyramid. All of this, of course, was achieved using Nova Launcher. Alright, so I have some information regarding what's on your Android, and I wanted to let you guys know that moving forward, I will no longer go in order of when this submission was received. So these last five episodes, they've all just been from whoever sent me their submissions first, I put it in in order they were received. Now I'm truly thankful for everyone who entered and helped create this series, but there are some other series that are starting to take place that are just kind of like this one here, and so in order to keep things fresh and interesting, I've decided that from here on out I will randomly pick submissions from each episode, and unfortunately this means that not everyone will get to make an episode. 
The reason for that, like I mentioned before, is partly due because there are some bigger YouTubers out there doing series that are very similar to this one, and that's totally fine. I'm not angry. There's plenty of room in this community to have multiple series that are similar. There's so many Android setups. But in order to keep things interesting and for people to keep watching my series, I need to be a little more selective with the setups. I might also be doing different episodes that have different themes like unique launchers, icon packs, etc. for various videos. Rules on how to enter are still the same and you can find all that information in the description below. Just go ahead and click on that Google Doc and then submit your setups to me with the email address that's provided in the document. That's it for now guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.